The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has detected extremely high levels of radiation on some of its storage tanks. Officials of Tokyo Electric Power Company announced on Saturday that high levels of radioactivity were found in four areas in the complex where tanks containing contaminated water are located. The utility has been monitoring more than 900 storage tanks since about 300 tons of radioactive wastewater leaked from a tank on August 20th. TEPCO officials say one of Saturday's readings was 1,800 millisieverts per hour. Radiation at this level can kill a person in four hours. In another area, radioactivity of 230 millisieverts per hour was measured at a puddle underneath a pipe connecting tanks. No change in water levels was detected at the tanks, but TEPCO believes new leaks are possible. It's checking whether contaminated water has reached the ocean. Workers at Fukushima Daiichi have been taking a closer look at tanks used to store radioactive water from the plant. Now they say they may have figured out why radiation levels near some of the tanks are rising. They say the seals inside the tanks appear to have failed. Over the weekend, workers at the plant discovered high levels of radiation near the bottom of three of the tanks. The readings were highest where the tank's steel plates are bolted together. Workers then noticed that resin was pushing out from inside. The resin is used on the tank's inner seams. It expands when soaked with water. TEPCO officials believe wear and tear caused the resin to extrude from the joints. They say there's no sign that any water has leaked out. And they say radiation levels are not high on the ground beneath the tanks. Workers began monitoring radiation more closely last month. They had found that 300 tons of radioactive water had leaked from one of the storage tanks. Earlier this week, workers discovered a high-level beta-ray radiation near a different tank at the plant. People in Fukushima are angry with the way TEPCO has handled the leaks. Three have filed a criminal complaint against the company and its top management. TEPCO's management feared bankruptcy and kept putting off the necessary measures. Such negligence went on for about two years, resulting in the current situation. And the company didn't tell the government that conditions were critical. Kawai says his clients accused TEPCO and third executives of violating anti-pollution regulations. President Nami Hirose is one of the people named in the suit. The plaintiffs accuse Hirose of failing to take adequate protection measures because of the high cost. They say TEPCO's management approach didn't change even after the nuclear accident. TEPCO officials declined to comment. Japanese leaders are moving to control a contaminated water leak at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. They've already come up with a plan to build a frozen artificial wall underground. It's part of a test to stop groundwater from seeping into reactor buildings. Government officials estimate about 400 tons of groundwater is flowing into the contaminated buildings every day. The inflow is adding to the problems of toxic wastewater on site. Tokyo Electric Power Company released video footage of the groundwater for the first time. It shows water flowing into the number one turbine building. Engineers plan to drive steel pipes 30 meters into the ground near the reactors. Then they'll pump liquid calcium chloride at minus 40 degrees Celsius to freeze the soil, creating a wall. They say they want to start the test by mid-October at the earliest. They're planning to check any impact on the surrounding soil and groundwater, as well as how best to replace pipes over the long term.